Vai, vai. Você põe a mão na de dança.
The first person is going to be the man of God, Pastor Alexi. Just for three minutes. <coughs> Do not add more minutes, please. If you add more minutes, I'm going to add uh, to hold your tie, your, your shirt. Welcome. <laughs> She has overcome the death. That's why you and I were here today. Praise God. If you didn't overcome the death, you wouldn't be here today. Praise the Lord. Pick up a cup together for Christ. I'm not going to believe God. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Barbecue with kids. Um, maybe she now put in Alexi. My name is Alex. Uh, uh, Michigan. I'm from Michigan. Nah, maybe the to be sure, Mungu. I'm a servant of God. I'm a senior pastor of Christian Assembly of God. I'm the senior pastor of those churches. And I'm so grateful to have this invitation And we do everybody here. My fellow uh, pastors, Bunakucha. it has risen. We want to work to do the work of God. Kila state ulipo. Stand up uh, every step that you are. You to see my mission to salama wa Christo. Bana Yesu si. Bana Yesu si. Praise the Lord. Bana Yesu si. Praise the Lord. What are you doing? Amen. Amen. Just three minutes. Just three minutes. But do you know why we are here? Is to raise the work of God. And to raise or to start the work of God in these two things that are very important. The first thing are the pillars. If the house does not have pillars, yeah. then the house is going to shake. But uh, on the bottom, there is something that's always there that's very important. It's the foundation. And the foundation is Jesus Christ. You are going to forgive me because when I speak, I, think, I see I'm shaking a lot. Amen. And because if you see me standing here in the of Jesus Christ, thank you very much. Thank you. Amen. He is the leader of our prayers. Amen. And I am in charge of information. Amen. So we are going to welcome Reverend Pastor Yutela. This is my father, a uh, spiritual father. I, I was saved through prayer. Prayers is my food. When I went to his church, he had uh, arms. And when he saw the gift that I had, he was the first person who I wanted me to be an evangelist. Welcome, Father. My name is Witela Ibrahim Zephania. Or Zephania Witela Ibrahim. Or Zephania Witela Ibrahim. I am a pastor of a church. Of America, Dayton, Ohio, Jumbi. Of Dayton, Ohio. And I've served God as a as a pastor in Mozambique for eight years. I'm going to say just a little bit about uh, this youth, Mabamba. Even though I don't have enough time, but I'm very thankful and happy. To have Amen. a good fruit. This is a big fruit. Amen. I was anointed or ordained to be a pastor since 2006 in Mozambique. 
Na niliendelea kutunga kanisa pale. And I continue serving God there. Na elfu mbili na saba. And in 2007. Mtume mzizi. In 2006. Jana mababa. This youth mababa. Alikuwa ajageuka. He was still in his uh, worldly things. Wala Yesu alikuwa na haja muita baba. And God was not called him by then. Lakini mtume mzizi. But in 2007 akafikia wito wa Bwana. He heard uh, the calling from God. Ninaposhukuru Mungu, I when I thank God, alipofikia wito wa Bwana, I thank God because when he heard the calling from God. Ah, kwenda na Ruti. Ah, yeye alipo alipoitwa na Mungu, yeye akwenda na Ruti. Rich. Ibrahim wakati alipo na Mungu alenda na Ruti. I'm so thankful because he didn't go with the road. Mungu alimwambia alimuita Ibrahim. God called Abraham. Toka wewe. Aka. Ashika nyumba ya baba yako na mama yako. Leave the house of your parents. Nenda nitakuonyesha. With him. Lakini kule mbele kama nani ujua bibi nani osema? But ahead of them as you know as the Bible says. He brought some problems. Lakini mababa alipoitwa. But when mama was called, akwenda na road. He didn't take food. Wanaweza wasifiwe. Watu wengi wanapoitwa wanakwenda na ruti. Many people when they are called they take some and all things with them. Na ndio maana mababa Mungu alitumikisha sana. And that's why mababa God used him a lot. Na furahi sana kumuona. And I'm so happy to see him. Na hata katika kanisa langu niliona kwamba ni kijana mzuri ambaye anaendelea And even in the church that I was reading I saw that he was a good youth and I was going forward good. And that's why I was ready to be an evangelist in Mozambique. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Na aliendelea tu. And he continued. Aliendelea kuomba Mungu to pray God kutakaza injili and to uh kutakaza injili ubiri to uh to, to spread the gospel until today the work of god still goes on so sina maneno mengi ni nashukuru mungu mungu abariki sana kwa kazi ya utukaji ambao leo bwana yesu asifiwe i don't have a lot of words to just say god may god bless him for the work of god that he has been doing haleluya haleluya alikuwa mafunzo ya ujulizi bali tukatana naye nikatoa mchungaji wa mitulizi Uh, he is the pastor of Free Methodist uh, and he is the one who ordained me to be in the evangelist. And then I moved from where I was living and I went to the city and I started prayer there. And then I was ordained to be a pastor with uh, uh, somebody who is uh, a citizen of People are called by Matthew Amani Mabamba. We are going to welcome our father, Sergio. Reverend Sergio. This is our father. Because he is the one who looks over the churches here in Mexico. Uh, according to the gospel. Welcome. <laughs> the reason for that is because this man is the one that helps us get this done. We are thankful to be in a district. But we have a district superintendent who cares about enlarging the kingdom of God. He's not looking to enlarge churches. He's looking to enlarge the kingdom of God. And I want to first Thank God for our district superintendent. Dr. Brian Powell. He says hi. He's not 
he wasn't able to be here. Aliwasalimu mm-hmm. nyote na ana uwezo kuwa pamoja nanyi hapa. He's on the way in Mayfield, Kentucky. About yeah, 5 yeah. hours away. Ana enda Mayfield, Kentucky, yenyeko zaidi ya saa nzima wa ufili. Preaching in one of our churches. Ana enda kuhubiri katika zimoja katika kanisa letu. But he he sends greetings to you. Na natuma salamu zake kwenu. And I am sure he's going to be rejoicing seeing all the pictures. Na atakuwa furaha sana kwa kuona ma pictures zote. For what you are doing. Kwa kazi mnayofanya hapa. I want to thank God for Pastor Kisa Mukandama. Ninapenda nimshukuru Mungu kwa Pastor Kisa Mukandama. He is our African coordinator. Ni yeye coordinator katika Kentucky nzima. He helps us start new churches in Kentucky. Ni yeye anasaidia kusimamisha kanisa mpya hapa katika eneo la Kentucky nzima. Because we want to have as many African churches as we can have. Mpango wetu ni kuweza kueneza kanisa za kwa Afrika eneo mahali pote. We are we are planting churches all over the country. Tunapenda tueneze makanisa za wa Afrika district nzima ya Kentucky. Please, please help us find more congregations that want to join. Nina kusaidi sana mtusaidie kupata makanisa nyingi zinaopenda kuingia katika kazi. Yes. He put us in contact actually it was Pastor Harry who got in contact with Pastor Matthew. And zaidi sana uza kusema kwamba Pastor Harry ni yeye alifanya tuweze kukutana na Pastor Matthew. But it was great when Pastor Kisa walked in. Ilikuwa furaha sana wakati Pastor Kiza alikuja kwenye kikao. And they embraced each other. Na akakutanana na Pastor Mary. They showed the love that they had for each other. Walikumbatiana wakaonyesha upendo katikati ya wao wawili. And it's a love that only God can give. Na hiyo upendo aliyokuwa nayo Kiza na Mary ni upendo wenye Mungu anakuwa na kwetu. And I am thankful that now I get to embrace both of them. Leo na furaha sababu ninaweza kuwakumbatia wote wawili watatu. Kama vile ndugu zangu. Because God has brought us together. Sababu Mungu ni yeye tusia pamoja. I was mentioning to Pastor Harry. Nilikuwa nazungumza na Pastor Harry. Na one day, siku moja. No. Not too long from now. Haiko mbali sana kwa kutokea leo. We all are going to be praising God together. So tutakuwa pamoja tukimsifu Mungu pamoja. And then we get no language together here. Hatutakuwa tofauti wa lugha. We are going to be praising our so, Lord. Sawa, sisi sote kwa sisi kwa na wewe. Ninasifu Mungu kwa hiyo. I praise God for the church. Ninasifu Mungu kwa hiyo kanisa. The Lord of mercy the Louisville First Church of the Nazarene. Kanisa no ito Louisville First Church of the Nazarene. Because they have opened their doors. Sababu walifungua milango yao to grow the kingdom of God. Kuweza kusimamisha na kukomalisha ufalme wa Bwana. I praise God for their pastor. Ninashukuru Mungu kwa pasta wao. A man of God. Ni mtumishi wa Mungu. A man that wants to serve Jesus. Ni mtu mwenye anapenda kumtumikia Kristo. Yes, amen. We are thankful for him. Tunashukuru kwa ajili yake. We are thankful for all of you. Tunashukuru kwa wote wanaokuwa hapa. And I want to please I want to I want to encourage you. Napenda niwahimizi to keep sharing the gospel. Muendelee kutangaza injili. It is not just in Kwa Hili. Haiko sub. Not just in Kwa Hili. Haiko tu Kiswahili. It's not just in French. Haiko tu Kifaransa. It's not just in English. Haiko tu Kiingereza. It's not just in Spanish. Haiko tu mu Spanish. It's in to all nations. Iko kwa ajili ya nchi zote. Iko kwa ajili ya watu wote. We are one. Sababu sisi sote ni moja ndani ya Bwana. We are one family of God. Sisi sote ni familia moja. Kwa Bwana akubariki na aku tunse bawana akuga akuagansi kansi ye uso wake na kuku uramia bawana akulekesi uso wake kawako na akute amani I thank this church 
Pastor Kerr. Uh, Pastor Kerr. You are the servant of God. You are the, the child of God. When I came here, I looked everywhere for the church just to have a prayer room. They told me you. I saw his wife. He said, uh, she said, the pastor is not here. But what do you want? My English is. <laughs> but she understood me. When I was just uh, I was saying, I need it, I need it. But she said, I can understand you. Pastor is going to call you. That evening, Pastor called me. I'm sorry. Can't come tomorrow at this time. I came with my son Amani. When Pastor saw me, he accepted me. And he believed in me. That's how the children of God, when they meet, there must be something. There must be something. And he said, I accept you. What do you want? And I said, I was struggling, looking for a prayer room so that I can worship my God, so that I can praise my God. And he said, You are free. Let us have a meeting. Let, us, let me call a servant of God named Kisa. He speaks for you. And I have my boss. Uh, his name is Sergio. And then we have a meeting in uh, September. And I didn't know who Kisa was. I kept to realize it's this Kisa. The first uh, war. Uh, that happened in Congo. We met in Tanzania and he was my friend. And we were we were apart for more than 10 years. And then when, when we saw each other, it was about two minutes. We were just crying and praying. And that's why Pastor said it was the love of God. That does not have anything. Uh, Pastor Sergio and Pastor Gary, they said we give you the people. They said worship as you want. Worship as you know. The way you believe. And I even was given, I was given a place to baptize people. And Christmas, I'm going to baptize somebody here. Amen! We're going to baptize the girl the Catholic. We did not force her, but she wants to be uh, baptized. Amen. So I thank this church. I don't have anything to pay them. The mission that you have is the same mission that I have to bring people from the darkness, to bring them to the light. So that's why that we may all see God. We are not opening up. We are not opening we are not opening churches for, for money, but we are opening the churches so that people may know God. And I, I thank you so much. May God bless you. And I have the interpreter that's going to work with them. <laughs> he thinks he's in charge in my church. <laughs> Doesn't work that way, buddy. Was that clear? Yeah. Uh, you didn't explain what I said. I, mean, no. I said he thinks he's in charge in my church. Oh, and I think he didn't come on the age of what's going on. I love Pastor Matthew. In a pen of Pastor Matthew. But I tell you who I love more. I love Amani. In a tour, in a Wolizen, I pita Zaid, in a pita Amani. In a pita Georgia. In a pita Ezra. In a pita Ezra. In a pita Kiza. In a pita Kiza. Kiza Mugim. Kiza Mugim. In a pita 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 Mugim. In a p
tunafikiria kupenda sana mabamu familia yake yote mzima na tutapole pole kwa haraka sana tutapita sababu ni afurahi sana mko hapa he said I have 30 minutes. I won't take that long. It's my privilege to preach. Uh, Pastor Mabamba said he wanted me to preach on the Great Commission. And I said, Jesus said, Go therefore, and then, and make disciples of all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And he teaching them to obey everything that I commanded you. And I command you. And I have commanded you. That I have commanded you? I said. You did. You were heard of me. <laughs> <laughs> he said it before I said it. You're translating for me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> the problem is already there. <laughs> what about this one? And remember. Now, that I am with you. Nita, nita kwa nani, even to the end of the year. Amen. My brother would say, that means, yeah, I want to hear back from you. Yeah. 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 Kutumikisha Hadisi ya Christmas Luke chapter 2 Luka Sura kia pili Verse 8 Mstani wa kia nani Luka Sura kia pili Mstani wa kia nani Yes. Keep The scripture says they were living in the field. It's really a picture of living in the open air with a wall all the way around you. There was not a physical wall. But the shepherds had learned how to keep the sheep. Alakini walijua na muna gani ya kweza kuchunga vifubo vya. It was almost like there was an invisible fence. Ilikuwa kama vile kuna ukua kukuta usio likana na macho. They were keeping 
Na wanachunga hizo nyama kule ndani. So I looked up the word keep. What does it mean to keep? Nina niliangalia neno linaloitwa kuchunga. In the Bible there are three words for keep. Katika Biblia kuna neno maneno tatu yanayosema hivi. The first one means so they will not be harmed. Ya kwanza ni kusema kwamba zile nyama zisi zisi zisipate shida zisi zisi haribishwe. The second one means like a great army that would protect them. Ya pili kusema kwamba wanazilinda kama vile eh eh washujaa wakuu. The third one and the one in this passage means so they will not run away. Katika maandiko hapa ni kusema kwamba zile nyama azizisikie. The shepherds were committed to not letting the sheep run. Wachungaji kazi yao ilikuwa ni kusaidia hizo nyama zisipotee zisikimbie. And God said, I can use these men to announce the birth of Jesus. Na Yesu akasema nitachukua wachungaji kwa kuweza kutangaza kuzaliwa kwa Kristo. As I read the story, the Lord began to minister to my heart. Ninaposoma hii historia, Mungu anaosema ndani ya moyo wangu. And he said to me, you are a keeper. Ananiambia mimi kwamba wewe ni mchungaji. You have built a wall around yourself. Ulijenga eneo yote kwa kwa ndani yako upiki yako. You're trying to take care of yourself. Kazi yako ni kujaribu ujichunge peke yako. You don't want to lose anything. Na upendelee kupoteza hata kimoja. You don't want to lose people. Hapende kupoteza watu niliyokupatia. You don't want to lose your possessions. Hapende kupoteza vitu nilivyokupa. You don't want to lose your stuff. Hapende kupoteza vitu nilivyokupa. So you built a wall. Kwa hiyo ulijenga jengo imenishangaza kwamba Mungu anaweza kujenga kutumikisha watu kujenga ukuto kando kando yao. If we're going to reach the world, kwenda kutembelea inchi zingine, we have to get rid of the wall around ourselves tunapaswa tuachane na hizo ukuta zinazotufunga ndani we have to quit taking care of ourselves tunapaswa kuacha kukua tunatizama peke yetu sisi and begin to let god take care of us na tuachilie bwana ni yeye achukue hali ya kukuza sisi i'm sure it's easy for you ninaamini kwamba iko rahisi kwenu who have come here from sababu mlitoka kule in Africa to feel like now that you're here na leo huko hapa you have to take care of yourself muliachana na jote mkakuya hapa na mnapenda muweze kujichunguza peke yenu pastor mama pastor mama does not he want you to reach the world anapenda tuweze ku iti katika taifa zingine you will never reach the world taking care of yourself hawezi kutembelea nchi zingine wakati tunapojichunguza peke yako Yes, Jesus says, I will take care of you. Yesu Kristo anasema kwamba mimi nita 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 walinda ninyi. So that you can go into all the world and make disciples. Muweza mali popote kufanya mataifa. Nita nita wangu. Mimi nitawangaikia ninyi. Amen. Siano tunaokuwa nao na Mungu unagusa uhusiano tunaokuwa nao na watu. So I have a relationship with God. Nina uhusiano na Mungu. I have a relationship with others. Nina uhusiano na watu. No relationship here. No relationship here. Kama sina uhusiano hapa sitakuwa na uhusiano hapa. So a relationship with God. Uhusiano na Mungu, uhusiano na watu. Look at the shepherd. Angalia wale wachungaji. They have a wall all the way around there. Walikuwa na ukuta kando kando yao. A fence. Walikuwa na ukuta. A wall. Ukuta. No roof. Haikukua na majanja. Here's what they think. I have a relationship with God. Walikuwa naangalia tunahusiana na Mungu. But I 
Don't have a relationship with other people. Ale kiedy na tym się ma łatwo? No. Have a relationship with God. Nie wiem, się ma łatwo. But I can't get along with other people. Ale kiedy się nie lubię po łatwo, nie zuri na łatwo i kiedy. Nie wiem, się ma łatwo. But I'm arguing with my own family. Ale kiedy mi na mi na mi na kokotana na dugu za. What God says. Mungu anasema Husiana na Mungu usiana na watu. So I have these shepherds. Kama vile wale watu wa kondoo. Built all around themselves. Wali 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 tengeneza ukuta kando kando yao. Taking care of themselves. Wakachunga wao peke yao na kondoo zao. I have a relationship with God. Walikuwa tuna Mungu. Hawakuwa wazuri na watu. But it all changed. Ala kimi yote ni geuka. Because the angel of the Lord, sababu ro e e e e malaiko wana, came to where they were. Akapuja kwenye wangu. The glory of the Lord shone around. Utukufu wa Mungu ukajaza na mali wanapoku. And they were terrified. Awa kaogo pa wote. And their lives were completely changed. Na maisha yao yakageuka. And they said, Let us go. Let us go. Wakasema acha kwenye mali atakapozaliwa. Let us go. We don't have to take care of ourselves. Atusaidi kubaki hapa kuangalia vitu kando kando yetu acha twende. We can love our brothers. Let us go. Tunapenda wadogo zetu acha twende. Yes. Here's I ask my how did that happen? Ninajiuliza yale yalifika namna gani? The angel said, Malaika akasema, Mtoto Mtoto mchanga na uzaliwa. A baby is going to be born. Mtoto atazaliwa. What help is a baby? Exasa, mtoto itakuwa na maana gani? Maybe when he gets 18? Pengine mpaka wakati atakuwa na miaka 18 or 21? Ama mapumbili na moja? Or 25? Ama mapumbili na tano? But he's just a baby. Akingaliki, mtoto. But the shepherds were completely changed. Alakini wachungaji maisha yao yaligeuka. God had made a promise. Sababu Mungu alifanya I will redeem my people. Ni kazi yangu ni kuweza kuokoa watu. I will redeem my people. Kazi yangu ni kuokoa watu. The day is coming when I will my people. Wakati umefika nitaokoa watu. And the shepherds knew na na wachungaji wakajua this baby is beginning huyu mtoto kidogo ni mwanzo god is going to do great things yeye bwana atafanya makubwa mtoto mtoto ni mwanzo god is going to do great things ni nyota yeye bwana atafanya makubwa and i believe na mimi the lord wants to do great things bwana anapenda afanye makubwa kwa ajili ya mount sinai church of nazareth not everything is changed hai vita vigeuke but god's promise sababu e, Mungu alipana e, ahadi na itatimilika. He has sent Jesus. Na alituma Yesu Kristo. Who, who, who was crucified and died. Aliyekufa msalabani na akafa. Raised from the dead. Na kazikwa na kafufuka. Na akapanda mbinguni. Na, na akatuma roho mtakatifu. Ili kanisa iwe sima. Na sababu Anapenda kuwatumikisha kwa kuweza kuzika katika tendo zote. Amen. Ni kwa ajili yenu. I know there are still struggles. Ninaamini kuna 